so here and and, and in, a, in a similar way now now the score of the Peshawar is 112 into 5 5 players has been out and uh, parallel uh, on the ESPN Crick info.com you can see that the score is being matched so how quickly imagine that how quickly this website is being uploading the data and, and making available for the audience on cell phones or the internet uh, that uh, the 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 cricket fan could see the score in in very less time within seconds and all these kind of statistics is being updating in every second some of the graphics or the visuals you will see here on this website as well and also the commentary so it's it's very interesting that uh, we have we, we are using this technology now to uh, get the real time cricket feeling on on our digital platforms so Crick Info is not a new website. They are doing uh, this kind of practice for last many years. And now we have more websites like that and also some real live stream matches platform as well. So I will just copy this uh, hyperlink of this cricket match where the live score is being updating. And we can see that 118 of 5 is by the Peshawar Zelmi and then definitely after that Lahore Kalandas will play. So let me just copy the link and what I will do is I will go to Power BI. So here it is. I have opened a new file and I will click on get data from web. Okay. And I will just paste that link. So it's very easy. That will be real time. So I will paste this hyperlink. I will press OK. I can go for the more advanced as well if I want to do some customizations regarding this link. So now uh, the Power BI will be connecting and getting the data, analyzing that, what kind of tables are available. And now you can see there is a navigator window here and it will show all the stuff or all the tables data available on the website which is in ESP and Crick Info in that particular link. So within next few seconds, uh, it will show you some tables might be with the proper name or just default names if they are coming with a default names or default column names like column one two three or table one two three so we can we know that we can transform that into the power query so now you can see that there are some html tables there are nine html tables and there are some six suggested tables right so let me click one by one and let's have a preview so you can see that you have two kind of previews table view and the web view uh, where the score is being updated and uh, the table view which data we need to get from that particular link so table 2 is giving us different kind of statistics definitely there are multiple tables on on that particular link and we need to have that uh, information into our power bi so you can import multiple tables uh, you want to like information you want to update or get for the user who will be seeing this dashboard. So let me select this table four because it's more relevant. Uh, the current team, which is the Peshawar Zalmi, uh, all the batsmen list are coming. Uh, the, the players who have got out and currently Shoaib Malik is playing. And uh, also there is a raw of total that how much a score has been done so far with this by this team, okay? so. In this video, the, uh, we will not create uh, a very formal and complex dashboard here, but just to give you a demonstration that how it's, it's very easy uh, in the Power BI to get uh, a data from, from a website and of, of a cricket match, right? So I'm more interested in table four. So I will check mark and I will click on load button. So in next few seconds, that table will be loaded into the Power BI so it's processing the queries and on the right side in the fields pane you will see that table and columns will be loaded in next few seconds and you can see the impact on the right side in the fields pane So just few more seconds and the uh, data will load. So there are only 14 rows that is being loaded, uh, having four columns. Now you can see that uh, a table name, which is a not proper name, the table four is being written here and column one, two, three, four. So if you want to do any kind of transformation, you know that uh, you have the power query available and you can 
rename these columns or any other kind of transformation you would like to do but here in this video we we are just having an idea that how to get this data from a website of a cricket match so what I will do I will create a, a very basic visual here and the, once we will be creating that visual we will refresh that and we will check on the website as well the idea of making this video is basically to make aware the users of Power BI and all those users who want uh, to have the real-time uh, numbers should be updated in Power BI. This is one of the very good example. And, and in contrast, you can relate this kind of examples if, if you are working in a supply chain company. So you want to see all the process or the real-time transactions, what are those going on and how your business is performing on daily basis or if you are working in a bank so you you are more interested towards the major KPIs or the numbers of deposits or advances or net interest income so you can connect all those data sources with the Power BI in order to get the real-time data uh, and definitely as, as a Power BI user you know that you need uh, for for the advanced analytics you you need to have the DAX uh, you should learn DAX and apply them and for the data transformation uh, you need to learn the power query with so so the basic idea was to make you aware that real-time dashboards are now possible with this application all right so we have got uh, column one and column two in in a table style where we can see a total here and we just want to filter so I'm not using any kind of DAX here in this video but I will just use the filter pane in order to just have the total raw in my this table and I will just make it resize and I can do a, a good kind of formatting by going to this format area and I can change the size of the values I can change the headers and their colors as well so I will do a little bit formatting and then we will press the refresh button all right so it's total 120 with the fall of five wickets 15 overs has been done so far and then we can also apply conditional formatting I mean there's so many things we can do so as, as you see the procedure of getting the data from a website and you saw that there were multiple tables so you can import multiple tables and you can just drag and drop each of the field you want to like in order to create a, a dashboard of a cricket match and then you can just upload it to the cloud and share that link as well or embed that on your website as well so this will be a a good exposure of using the power bi application as a whole all right so the total of 120 fall of five wickets 15 overs for the peshawar zalmi here in pakistan super league match so column headers all right so we have the column headers as column one and column two total all right so we can turn on the title as well and we can write Pakistan Super League Qualifying Match for example right and we can just uh, do the formatting like we can make it center we can make it a uh, big bigger right right so I hope you 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 are learning that how it it's easy to get the the real-time numbers from a website which is updating definitely so now let's refresh because I I know that I, I think more balls have been bowled by the uh, the other team so I will just click on refresh now once I have I have done imported all the tables relevant tables and information and you can assume that uh, we, we have uh, imported more tables and we can draw all the objects here on our canvas so once we are done with that we can just need to click refresh so let me refresh it and let's see if the number changes from 120 to any other number and we will check it from the website as well so now power bi is refreshing this table and yes great awesome 126 after 15.3 overs and let's see on the website so 126 of 5 after 15.3 overs 
right so we can import all these information on our power bi and we can customize as we like to have in in our dashboard so this was the example of uh, making a real time uh, cricket match dashboard in power bi as a demonstration so i hope you like it do share it with others thank you